What's going on guys? Chuck in. Chris. And we are here with an awesome Blu-ray purchase. It is the 25th anniversary 4K limited edition of Titanic. This is one I've been really excited for. Uh, for. Actually, you can see it's, unfortunately, it's kind of gloss. It's got my fingerprints all over it. This is, you know, it's covering. What can you do with yeah, that? Yeah. Uh, but this is really cool. I'm really excited. Finally came in the day. Um, and I've been looking forward to it. We saw this, the 25th anniversary 4K 3D yeah. version. Uh, way back in February in theaters, which is really cool. So we're excited to get this set and check out all the accoutrement that comes with it. That's French, you understand? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so take a look. at Here's all the back. I can't even see on the camera there. There you go. There's you some of the goodies it. that are in there. Yeah. And we're going to pop this open. So first off, we have, let's see, this is a, how's this open up? This is crazy. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> That's a very it's, tight it's, slip. It's, okay. So you yeah. hold that in the bottom there. It's very snug, very nice though. So you got this nice little <laughs> covering. Quality. Yeah, it's um, nice covering. Of course, it's got my fingerprints all over it. That's all right. And here we've got this nice hard. This is. I'm not smells good. Smell that. Well, it's book. I know, smell that. That's good. That's good stuff. Yeah. I'm serious. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> New me a smell. You don't understand, but this is a very nice quality. Um, this is again, it's very the soft from the original poster art image, and this actually this is. Didn't hear that very hard canvasy kind of smell or canvas kind of smell. Um, feel it does have a nice smell to it though, <laughs> a new media smell. But this is more like what I want a Paramount to do with Star Trek motion picture a nice hard case covering. This is very, very sturdy, or as opposed to that one was a very flimsy set. So, what do you think of that artwork there? I've seen it. Well, you've seen it, <laughs> and it's like very, it's like painting like if you can see that. It's Tell. really close, it's really done, done really well. So inside, let's say something. Got, you know, let's get this. I don't have a lot of room here. So all right, and we've got a lot of two things, things in here: the envelope and this the blueprints. Yeah. Titanic twenty fifth anniversary book. Book, which, yeah. And I'm sure there's a lot of cool stuff in there. So take a look at this white star line. This envelope here. It's kind of like a. We can say it's like a, almost like a ticket. Yeah, or it's a uh, very reminiscent of a ticket. Yeah. Interesting. And in the back, you have like the little seal. <laughs> so we'll open this up really careful because I think that's really, yes, that's very snug. So you can be very, very careful when you pop it open. You can tear it very easily. And so it opens up. And all this stuff's going to fly out at you. So be careful. <laughs> all right. First off, we've got, what does that say? Make it count. Meet me at the clock. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's the actually, it's the, the yes. note that Jack wrote to Rose. That's really cool. Cool for kind of crumpled up like or folded. Had like creased like it was folded. That's pretty neat. That's still a nice little touch though. Yeah. And this kind of smells like an old pencil. That's kind of cool. So we here we've got first class dinner menu. <laughs> yeah. Pop that up there. Right here. I, yep. I got it. Yep. See what they had for first class dinner on here. They have a broccoli dinner. <laughs> order, order. They got some oysters. Things, yeah, oysters. Those are hors d'oeuvres. Salmon with uh, mousseline sauce and a cucumber. Uh, filet mignon and lily saute of chicken mayonnaise. I'm killing this French or whatever. It is. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got roast duckling, applesauce, sirloin of beef, chateau potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> Boiled rice. Punch romaine. Roast squab and cress. Red burgundy wine. Cold asparagus. Vinaigrette. Pate oh, de foie here. gras. Celery. Waldorf pudding. Pitas and Chateau jelly. Chocolate and vanilla eclairs. French ice cream. So that's your first class dinner menu. Most of that stuff I couldn't pronounce. <laughs> So here is a second class dinner menu. Doesn't look as fancy. Well, it's yes. <laughs> See up there? Okay. okay. So what we got? Uh, consomme tapioca, baked haddock, sharp sauce, curry chicken and rice, spring lamb, mint sauce, roast turkey, cranberry sauce. I can pronounce these. <laughs> Green peas. Yeah, at least you can. Puree turnips, boiled rice, boiled and roast, boiled and roast potatoes. You can't. <laughs> Plum pudding, wine jelly. What is wine jelly? jelly Coconut what? sandwich. Okay. American ice cream. American ice cream. Nuts assorted, fresh fruit, cheese, 
biscuits and coffee. This is actually not a bad menu for a second class. I think I prefer this one over the first class menu. And it was well, well, the first class is fancy. I know, but it's almost like too fancy. So what do we have in there? Eh, third class. Breakfast looks like something. See breakfast? There? What do you mean breakfast? Yeah, they didn't get, apparently they didn't get dinner. But they had oatmeal, porridge milk, smoked herrings, jacket potatoes, ham and eggs, fresh bread and butter, marmalade, teas, uh, Swedish bread, coffee. Oh, here's a, oh, all see, I, there's breakfast, dinner, uh, all the same thing. So they only get one menu for each. Dinner is rice, soup, French bread, cabin biscuits, roast beef, brown gravy, sweet, cor sweet corn, boiled potatoes, plum pudding, sweet sauce, fruit, along with tea, cold meat. Cold meat. It's actually on the cold meat. That's, that's not right. <laughs> Cheese, pickles, fresh bread and butter, stewed figs and rice and supper is gruel gruel <laughs> cabin biscuits and cheese so that's supper. your third class so, okay I have a breakfast lunch and dinner and this looks like a ticket for a titanic uh, yeah put it up there i'm gonna read this <laughs> yeah that's pretty oh careful Y Star Royal Mail Triple Screw Steamer. Yeah, it's triple screw. Hmm. Wednesday, May 31st, 1911, at 12 15 p.m. Oh, Belfast. <laughs> Is it Belfast? At Belfast, yep. Yeah. yeah, I know how to stalk. <laughs> stalk. And it looks like a. I'm guessing this is the third class ticket. You see it there. A lot more writing. Yeah. I think this is more like his invitation. Yeah, really it seems like it. Yeah. So that's interesting. Oh, another, another uh, note. Reading uh, cursive. Oh, yeah. They don't teach cursive in school anymore. So yeah, I know. We had like. <laughs> can you read it? Darling, now you can keep us both located in. Locked. Your... Wait, no. Locked. L lock. Okay. Locked. <laughs> yeah, God. Again, they don't teach handwriting in I school anymore. That's the problem. Locked in. Your That's safe, a... Rose. Safe. This is the note that Rose you. wrote to Cal yeah. when her and Jack are going to take off after, you know. He painted her like one of his, or drew her like one of his French girls. Yeah. That's kind of neat. That's a nice little, nice little touch. <laughs> oh, here's what Chris is really excited about. The sheet music. Plus my heart will go. Oh, plus some. Yeah, there's a whole extra couple pages here. Yeah. yeah. It's but yeah. It's, piano. So that's really neat. Because he can, he actually, like I said, he plays a couple instruments. Like a guitar, trombone, drums. That's it. Can you, do, can you do drums with my heart going on? I'll do that how it works. See, there's the um, see, you got the trumpet clef and the bass clef. Okay. Oh, piano. Okay. I'm gonna trust him. I don't know. It's just trust I took music in class or in school, and um, I remember there were notes. I remember bass clef, uh, uh, bass clef and trumpet clef. That's all I remember, honestly. Like, and then I couldn't do it. So, <laughs> but there is see music from my heart will go on. Uh, and then here we've got. This is kind of a blueprint, but if you see, oh. it's got little, I can't really see where we at here. There we go. But the little markers here, the different spots of uh, points of the movie are pointing out in the ship that happened. And I think it might coincide with something in, in the disc or something, in the book maybe. Yep. But like here, one, you've got, uh, I'm the king of the world, it's showing you it's at the bow Events, of the ship. Events um, from the movie, yeah. or actually. I'm flying right again, right here at the bow. I want you to draw me right here. That's where it's at, right there. Yeah, right in the middle of the ship. <laughs> mm -hmm. I always win, Jack, one way or another. So, yeah, that's you know, that's all. everything that's in this envelope. A whole lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, there, it really is. It's, and it's very nice. I, got, I love the, the little note um, replica, what are we calling them, uh, replicas. Yeah, replicas, which are yeah. The tickets and all that stuff. Tickets, it's, yeah. all this nice stuff. Now get this all back in here without <laughs> tearing anything up. This is very stiff uh, cardboard. Yeah, I can. There we go. Okay. okay. We're good. Now. And also, quick little thing. It actually has the white star line on the back. Yeah. So it's like your, your, your white star line packet. <laughs>
And then here is, is book. the book, which on the back of this is, has the movie credits. You know, kind of. Maybe we'll put it a little close. This is why it's good to have a second hand. Or three, uh, third and fourth hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is like story time with, you know, in, in, in uh, kindergarten or something. <laughs> so, here you go. And let's see. I don't see what all the fuss is about. I think some you of the see, stuff. Like, these are parts of the film. Yeah, or different, you know, behind the scenes. I'm oh, the, yeah. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> that line, like, oh, here. Right there, there's a little picture that tells you on that little blueprint where it was. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. Got the blueprint scan. Okay. She's the pistol cow. <laughs> Captain Bates is great. This is exquisite work. See that awesome line delivery? That was terrible. This is exquisite work. <laughs> Make each day count. Let's go about this one. It has the natural behind the scenes. Yeah, I got those. Actually, this is a photo I see a lot from this movie. Yeah. Behind the scenes with James Cameron. Uh, we have... You think a first class girl can't drink? I always love about this scene is the juxtaposition of the big party here while you know, they yeah. the cut away to the men upstairs in the first class is sitting having a boring time just talking. <laughs> yeah. It's a really neat uh, transition. And then here's a little montage from the film, cast and crew. There you go. You can see that. <laughs> I'm flying. I haven't seen this. <laughs> I think James is about to push him off, it looks like. <laughs> no, I don't think it was like that, sh like super deep water, too. Ah, uh, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> yeah, that's why it is the dot, dot, dot. Yeah, it's more fun to say the whole thing. Yeah. And I, you know, would say I, I fell in love with Kate Winslet. And I mean, in the whole movie, she's beautiful, especially in the beginning, but you know, I obviously, you know, the drawing scene that's very, you know, uh, erotic and it's just a, it's a very good scene. And she looks, the lighting, everything on that scene is beautiful. Her, it's very tastefully done. And what I find interesting is that was their very first day of filming for Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. She had to get naked and follow Leonardo DiCaprio in their first day of filming. Hey, how you doing? You know what? I mean? <laughs> 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 and also, if you didn't know, I think I told you before that the drawing itself was d uh, drawn by James Cameron. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of neat. So those are actually his hands, I think, you know, the sketching. Hmm. Carry on, don't mind us. <laughs> I always win, Jack, one way or another. And Billy Zane is just so bad. In I mean, in this, I mean, not like you know his performance is great, but he's such a bad villain in this. You know, he's oh, he drives you crazy. But you know, but you really see him in, in uh, Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. He's he's like told well, he's a bad guy now, but he's very very funny. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your time together. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting off screen time soon. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But I always love how he if says that when friend. he screams it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never let go. But she did. <laughs> yeah, I saw questions that Tuesday. I remember, like, I was young. Well, I mean. But he, she did. <laughs> he, he was, you know. Kind of happy. Scene there. So this is a nice little book. And, of course, in the back here, you've got. Your 4K nice. and your Blu-ray. Um, okay. It's an entire book to get them. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not a big fan, and most people probably aren't a big fan of these little sleeves. Yeah. One, these aren't the easiest to get out because they're kind of like inside it's a little... It's indent in there, which yeah, makes it hard to get it out. It really does. It's like, no, they really need like to cut a little groove out of something, put your thumb in here so you can pop it out. So it makes getting, I mean, kind of pushed out a little bit. There you go. Very you know, But yeah, I'm not, they should have done something. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to reference, like I did it with the uh, Star Trek uh, motion picture set. They should have put like little hubs in here to just snap them off on like the Planet of the Apes set I have, which is great. They have a little hub. They open up this big book, but they had the 
Hubs pop him. He's I sliding in and out can be be tricky. You know, trying to get him out and whatnot. Game um, is easier. Yeah, because I don't want to scrape up the back here. I mean, yeah, because you really got to kind of. This one's even harder. It's like you gotta push it down a little bit. And it's the 4K disc, but yeah, I'm not gonna mess right now. But it's gonna take it takes some work, which is probably why I might just buy the the single disc itself. Yeah. And just display this, and if I want to watch, I'll pop, pop the other one out. It'd be easier to do. So, so this is a but still this is a really nice set. I mean, it's it's a hefty price. It was a hefty price, oh, but um, I'm very very glad I picked this up because it's limited edition. Now let's see a poke real quick. So if I can get this in here. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Oh, I'm going to watch that envelope. I got it. Ta-da. Okay. And I do love the slip, but this is you know, very, very stiff too. Ooh. Well, you know, it's a good seal. Yeah. Again, another reason why... As much as as nice as it has a collector, I might just get the simple yeah. set. This, if I want to watch it repeatedly, which I do like to watch this movie a lot, because I do like this movie a lot. Um, like I said, I'm very glad I picked this, because there's a lot of cool stuff in here, and this is just a, a great, great movie. Um, if I have any complaint, it's not really a complaint, more like a, just a, I don't know, it's, it's nitpicky. I'm a little, I don't say disappointed, I'm kind of surprised that Jim, James Cameron or whoever they actually didn't put in a 3D version. Uh, if you're not saying 3D, who cares about 3D? Uh, granted, it's not a really a thing anymore. But <clears throat> we know James Cameron loves 3D. Uh, he obviously, you, uh, he, his last two films, you know, his uh, Avatar, he, he's all about the 3D. Um, he did Ghost of the Best. We talked about the Mac. He was yeah. a 3D Titanic film. He released Titanic in IMAX in 3D. When we saw, we it, saw it in yeah. February, it was the 25th anniversary 4K 3D version in the theater. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't put a 3 you know, obviously, maybe not a 4K 3D, but at least a 4K uh, scan like 3D, in 3D. 3D itself. Yeah, so I'm kind of surprised they didn't do that. Um, but nonetheless, if you're getting this 4K. I'm looking forward to checking this out uh, to see how good it is. I mean, in the theater, it looked great. But again, I couldn't, it was the 3D, so I probably couldn't really say it much different. Um, but this is... The, God, you know, my history with Titanic goes back, obviously, to 1997. I mean, actually, 96, probably I saw a teaser poster for it. Thinking, honestly, because I've always had a thing for Titanic. And, of course, they got, it was supposed to come out in the summer of 97. It got pushed back to around uh, winter. It was going here. Rumors was going over budget. It was going to fail. It was going to bomb. <clears throat> and it came out, uh, if I remember right, it came out December the 9th, Friday, December 19th, 1997. I remember that exactly because... I saw uh, Tomorrow Never Dies with James Bond, the second Pierce Bros and James Bond film released the exact same day. I was like, well, crap, I want to see both these. So me and your Aunt Beth, we went and saw Tomorrow Never Dies. And when it was over, we hopped over to the next theater, in, <laughs> the next theater and saw Titanic so, on the same night. So it was really cool. And then I we went and saw it over and over and over again. We were those people. And this is a different time, which is you won't have anymore, where it was all about word of mouth. Um, there was no internet. Or it was in, internet was in its, its infancy. There was people going on saying, you know, movie, it was good or bad. There's no Rotten Tomatoes. It was all, you know, here's a newspaper ad. Here's one that's playing. Go check it out. It became word of mouth. And it just grew and grew and grew. And week after week after week, it became a phenomenon, which is just crazy. I mean, I probably, I think last time I saw something like that was 1989 with Batman. Because that was huge, too. Same thing, word of mouth. And the hype was Although the hype for Batman was crazier than Titanic, because Titanic was supposed to fail, Batman wasn't expected to fail. But the 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 way it was in pop culture was just crazy. This what Titanic became. Um, and then when the first home video release of it was the two tape VHS collection, which I pre ordered and got. And uh, and there was two sets. There was the, the pan scan and then the widescreen. And I think you you there's there's a guy I heard it recently who's trying to collect a million VHS copies of Titanic for a world record. He's got I was heard on the radio like this morning yesterday morning. Uh, currently he's got like like maybe a thousand or two thousand. So he's got a way to go to a million. And I have a couple like documentaries on uh, like VHS collecting, which people talk about. The Titanic is one of those VHS you could find everywhere and anywhere. Um, so that's just crazy. It had a DVD release. 
that was a flipper, a very non-anamorphic with a bad release. I waited for that. I didn't get that DVD release instead. I waited until I got this beautiful release, which I'm not getting rid of. I do love this release because I love Clusters. this packaging. Yeah. And this, you know, director's, and this is like a uh, three uh, disc set. The movie's on two discs, and the, the third disc has all the bonus features, which this is the first way Chris saw this movie was on this set. Yeah. And I was impressed because, you know, he only watched the whole movie. On his own, I didn't, you know, he, I was gone somewhere. I came home, he was watching the movie, and he watched all the bonus features on here. And there were hours of bonus features <laughs> on here. He watched them all. But this is a beautiful set. Like I said, I love this packaging. I said, I just don't want to get rid of this. But I did buy a Blu-ray, and, of course, this is the 3D Blu-ray that was really yeah, cool. Yeah, 3D. So, yeah, I'm holding on. This has a Blu-ray, 3D. Uh, and a digital copy. I don't know about digital copies. Probably when it expired. I don't know. And this is a four disc set. This is like the movie, the, the, the three movies on two discs. The Blu-ray itself is on one disc, and all the bonus features are on here. So this is all brought over. Now, I believe that all these bonus features that were here archived are on here, along with some new stuff. On it's like 25th anniversary retrospectives, but all these behind the scenes features. Um, Do, uh, diary documentaries whatever they are they're all your commentaries awesome. yeah and again a couple new things of you know which i'm looking forward to diving into diving <laughs> it's a water it. it's bad okay so um now the question is do you buy this set um if you are a diehard titanic fan yes um if you're just a casual fan, don't like the movies. I mean, you can get the movie by itself, uh, just in a simple, not this obviously this Blu-ray, but you know, simple to this or whatever is set as H, you know HD four or excuse me four K, um, and that would be just fine. But if you want all the cool special features, and you know, for myself, you know, even Chris, and Chris too, you know, we're gonna get this because you know we love this movie. But he's a collector, anyways. Yeah, yeah, and I just love this movie, so it's one yeah. I've got to get. So I'm very glad I did again. That, Hate that I have fingerprint spots all over now, <laughs> but so yeah, that is it for you know this. Take a look at this 25th anniversary 4K limited edition of Titanic. Um, very excited to pop this up on in the projector and check it out. And he's we still have to watch it. You know, I've been waiting to get this for him to watch it on you know the screen here. Yeah. So it'd be a lot of fun. Um, which another reason why back uh, why. I was kind of hoping they would put the 3D version on here because the 3D version that we saw in February is different from the 3D version here because this 3D version was released for IMAX theaters. So it's the aspect ratio is different than what we saw. When we saw it, it was a regular 235 widescreen, and this is more, you know, filler, uh, the pillar, I was not filler box, but it's, it's like, I forget what the aspiration is. 16, for, like I one, six, know. something like that, but it's, it's, yeah, one. I don't want to, I want to say 65 miles an hour, not exactly. 65 miles an hour, which is. <laughs> <laughs> I said 16 by 9, but I guess, yeah. No, no, 16 by 9, that's like what the, uh, that's like the, uh, yeah. like your wide screen TV, it's, yeah. It, yeah, 16 by 9, but. I want to say it, but I know it's wrong. The 235 is when you have that really wide. You know, if you had the black bars on top of all the widescreen TV. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nine miles per hour. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the point. I think it's in the aspect ratio of 60, 65 miles an hour. That <laughs> <laughs> was like five million. But, you know, this one said it was shot at in, uh, in the uh, IMAX ratio. So it's big, taller, not as wide. But, I mean, actually, when I, I did watch the 3D version on the projector, and it, it was still pretty good. I mean, this it was... A great 3D. Actually, I, honestly, I think it was a better 3D than what we saw in the 4K version. Uh, that's why I kind of was hoping they would put it a 3D version with the 4K, so I get you know get a better comparison. Um, but nonetheless, of course, you know, no James Cameron will probably release that later on down the line just to yeah. be a dick. Bring it back to you. <laughs> so there it is again. Titanic 25th anniversary limited edition. Check it out. <clears throat> If that is it for now. Um, if you enjoy this, click thumbs up, share, subscribe, leave us a comment below. Let us know your history of Titanic. Let us know you picked up this set. Um, if you've got the 3D Blu-ray, if you picked up this Director's Edition DVD, if you still have any of those uh, VHS tapes that that guy is trying to collect, maybe you know, we look and reach out to him and give them to him. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> give it to him. Yeah. 
or just say hi. We'll always take highs. So until next time, this is Chuck and Chris, and we will see you on, on the, the other, other side. side. He's always so late. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I get that. Yeah. It's okay, Chris. And you didn't stop it. Yeah, I didn't stop it yet. Now I was going to tell you, I'll, I'll never let go. <laughs> <laughs>